All right, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I make a very, very simple venison stew. It's the same way my dad used to make it all those years when I was growing up. It's perfect after a long, cold day out in the deer woods, and it's super easy to make. Anyone can do it, but more important than anything, it's delicious. Uh, so I'm gonna get into the stuff you, you guys are gonna need if you're gonna make this. All right, the hardware that you're gonna need if you guys are gonna make this, one, you're gonna need a crock pot, you're gonna need a measuring cup, you're gonna need a couple of stirring spoons, and you're gonna need a good trim and knife, along with a cutting board. You're also gonna need a few different kinds of spices. The spices that you're gonna need is a packet of beef stew mix, some garlic powder, salt and pepper, parsley, and flour. All right, the ingredients you're gonna need for this are a nicely trimmed deer roast, carrots, celery, one onion, and about seven potatoes. Those are smaller potatoes. You could get away with using less if they were bigger, but I like my stew to have a lot of potatoes in it, so I kind of tend to load it up. First thing I'm gonna do to get this process started is trim my meat into about one inch cubes, and then I'm going to dice up all my veggies. Now that all the veggies are chopped and ready, we're just about ready to actually start cooking. Um, before I actually throw everything in the frying pan, I'm gonna go ahead and get the beef stew mix and the water in the crock pot and get that turned on so it can start warming up. I'm also gonna throw some olive oil in the pan and get it heating up, and then I'll dust the meat with flour and put it in. Now that I got the beef stew seasoning mix in, I'm gonna go ahead and add about a spoonful of garlic powder and a spoonful of parsley flakes. At this point, I'll usually add the vegetables that I'm not going to stick in the frying pan. That's my carrots, because I leave them whole, and my potatoes. All right, what I'm doing next is I've dumped some flour into a bowl, and I'm basically just gonna put all my meat in there and give it a toss. Before I do that, I'm gonna put a little bit of salt and pepper in with it too. That way it gets nice and seasoned. A lot of the meat is starting to get a nice brown texture to it, and that's really what we're after there. So I'm gonna give that a few more minutes and then we're gonna put it into the pot with the rest of the vegetables. We're then gonna put the uh, onions and the celery in the same pan that the meat cooked in and let them sweat down for just a little bit. And then we're ready to put the lid on that bad boy and let it simmer for about six hours or so.
All right, basically, uh, that's it. Quick, super good, and easy. Um, I'm gonna let this sit for about six hours, and I'm gonna go deer hunting. When I get back, I will uh, check in and let you guys know how she tastes. Back from hunting, no luck, had to get close, but no cigar. Let's check on the stew and see how it turned out. As I mentioned earlier, perfect dish for uh, coming out of the deer where it's cold. Turned out good, like always. I cook the vegetables in the skillet first so that they don't, you know, they, they're soft, they kind of cook through. You can taste them, but you can't feel them, they don't crunch or anything like that. So that's pretty much it. If you guys like what I'm doing, please like the video and subscribe. See you in the next one.